Well, a good morning to you all. So it is official that the UK are fit. Well, I think we're on lockdown. I was saying it's lockdown, but I'm saying we're on lockdown because we are on lockdown um, for the next three weeks. And I'm in Britain isolation for 12 weeks because obviously uh, my workplace having to shut down because of obviously what is going on. So I have now no work at all, but I'm still getting paid, which is the good thing about it. I'm still getting paid. I've had to put all my bills off and all that stuff. But if you guys are just going out for number of reason, please stay at home. I'm just going to get some essentials for my mum because, you know, it's just easy to me to go out. And obviously it's just i just want to get the things now so before obviously it's payday for some people this week so i'm just getting for her now and then i'm going straight back home because i want to it is nice outside i get that it's really nice but at the same time you've got to stay home so if you're watching right now please stay at home unless you need to get essentials which is food or medical stuff so i am off into town for a bit and then probably head back home but this is going to be my vlog for the rest of the three weeks of me vlogging on in isolation so that's how this isolation goes so i am in town right now i've just been to powerland to get my mum a few bits now i'm heading off to iceland it is so so quiet like not everybody is out like our park is really quiet there's barely any cars in the car park it is very very dead and it's going to be like this for the next couple of weeks so let's hope we can beat this virus i really hope we do okay so i just been into like as does the pet store i didn't have anything that my mom needed but we're gonna waste some more time to get them but actually fine we're just making sure that we can get it now but it's fine we can wait but i managed to find you know the really mischievous thing that we can never find it's a freaking thermometer i finally found one. Oh my goodness that took forever we finally found a thermometer oh my god it cost me like a fiver for masters if anybody wants one they're in they're finally back in stock see if you don't panic they'll come in stock eventually and then i'll bring more in so basically lesson learned do not panic buy because end of the day they will stock up and then it will be fine so you know you just have to wait until it comes back again so i am now on my way back home in the safe i know it's a lovely day but i need to get back home so i'm to eat so i'm a bit hungry so yeah that was a success not a success but a successful day but a successful day of buying a thermometer so let's get back home okay so i have just got back home i'm now gonna have something to eat so i'm hungry and i'm gonna watch my netflix show which is the you know i can't remember sure what she's called now paradise pd i think that's what it's called i'm gonna watch that have some dinner lunch even and then i probably just go and maybe play a bit of sims 4 i may start doing uh sims 4 let's play going to sort out and now i can't sort out the software not working anymore for a bit I made this a bit of Sims 4 Let's Play, so once I get that sorted out, I'll play some Let's Play. So let's hope I get this sorted out and start playing Sims 4 again because I have missed playing it. So you know, I'll definitely be playing that. So I'm just gonna chill and then I'll be probably doing something else. I don't know. Let's see how this day. Did. Let's see what the rest of the day brings for me. Okay, so literally, all I have done is just chilled, watch a bit of Netflix had a bit of a nap and then walked the dogs but it is so hard because when you see weather like this when see the sun i'm moving out the way the sun you think oh we're nice and warm outside it's a little more chillier than it was during the day but it is still really nice but it's so hard and that's going to be a struggle because we get back to hit our spring our summer so it's going to be in a lot worse but it's okay because you know we, we're like i forgot to go out i feel so sorry for the ones who live in flats i am so so sorry you haven't got gardens and you're just trapped in your flat i i feel awful and you know i am very unfortunate to have a garden and i'm able to go outside most of the time with people in flats and stuff like that cannot do that so if you're in a flat just just do what you can to 
go outside even if it's just literally standing outside of your flat <laughs> downstairs get a bit of fresh air i know it's i know it's tough times but just keep on going just do what you gotta do to get fresh air get exercise in and all that stuff so you know it's it's one of them it's gonna be a very I keep touching my face. I shouldn't be touching my face. Ugh. I have just washed my hands, so you know it's not as bad. But I'm just watching the news right now as I speak, and the death toll has jumped. So it's now 422 people have died from the coronavirus. That is a lot of people. That that's a lot, and you know it's it's really scary and. We just gotta be really careful. We gotta be careful who we're around with, and I know these rules are are gonna be so hard for everybody in a strain. But these rules are put in place so people will not die, and we can save lives. So if you are thinking you haven't got it, but you may have it, you think you're invincible, you're not, guys. You are not invincible. You will probably won't have the uh, corona. You probably have the symptoms. You probably just have like a cold. But please, please, please make sure you are making yourself safe and the well-being of other people so make sure you do do that so i'm going to end this vlog here i really hope you enjoyed this video guys or it's a bit me just <laughs> not really filming in stores but you know don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my youtube channel and i hope you had i hope you guys have a lovely day and stay safe stay indoors and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye